Egypt against Ghana, you know what? Um gonna give a shout out to my my main man, my um footballing con con confidence and a and a close aide of mine, Mr. Sharif, my uh, fellow Ghanaian brother. Well not fellow, but because I'm not Ghanaian, but he's Ghanaian. Um Egypt's Ghana, you know, um, a game that will, will be televised and I'll be able to gain access to. Um this is a big game. This is a big game. Egypt We've not seen Egypt in a World Cup since I believe in nineteen ninety. Tricky group group for them, you know. Um, I think Mal is in this, in this group as well. So, um, and for Ghana, Ghana always that team, you know, fellow West West African neighbors that they've never really kind of lived up to their potential. You know, remember this is the same guys that had your boy here, your boy and the kid, um, Abedi Pele. Um, I, for me, I said, you know, for, for, for Ghana, you know, first of all, I don't even know why Emma Smart Jan still plays for them. I think the guy should retire and give way to someone else. But then who else is, is there for um, Ghana to, to get? I mean, the IU brothers, the I, you know, Atsu, I think is a really good player. But So there is still something in these Ghanaian guys to really um, operate, you know, and they dictate. Aaron Grant isn't a great coach. He's okay, but he's not a great coach. So I don't really know how far... Grants can really take take the Ghanaian team and really galvanize them. And Egypt have always been good. They've always been, been talented, always been a very strong team. And it's always been a case of mentality. You know, they'll always play good football, keeping the ball in the ground, nice passing, technically very astute. Um, and th that has always been in their DNA throughout. But that's not enough. It's about getting it done. You know, in a match, not about being pretty, it's about being ruthless. It's about being slightly prejudiced. Um, so... I don't know how this one will go. I really don't know how this one will go. Because remember, last time I saw Egypt's Ghana, Ghana ripped that booty open. They ripped that booty open, and that, and that was pretty much what sealed the, the deal for um, Bob Bradley. And he's coaching Swansea now. So, um, yeah, he definitely moved up in things. Um, I'm feeling a 2-2. 2-2-1-1. A two twenty one, but with that being said, I mean I think it's going to be a draw. I'm going to roll with a two two because I'm cool. Maybe a one one. Um, I do think this will be a very exciting game, a very intriguing. I mean, again, the last Egypt Ghana was intriguing to watch, but I think this will be pretty. This will pop off. This this will be I, you know, and and I think this could be pretty interesting. So I'm going to stick with that. A draw about Egypt. I want Egypt to redo really their thing. Shout out to your boy Ab Abdul. It's time for Egypt to really raise their game. And if they fail to make another World Cup, I don't know. And I think this is a game that Egypt's can win because Ghana, yeah, they're good, but they lack that je ne sais quoi. And again, Aaron Grant is he's from from the road. He's I mean he's essentially not fully, but he's essentially from from, from the road. Um, so I think this will be a two-two um, game. But and for Ghana is like I just think that you know. Um, why well, I mean, these, these young boys? I think Ghana needs to get a lot of these young boys. As I say again, Asmajian shouldn't be sniffing this team. This guy's, this guy's like 62, he's at least 62 years of age. Asmajian shouldn't be, be, be Ghana's main striker right now. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be him. He should continue his musical career. Um, so yeah, man, let's see how it goes. But I think this will be a very, um, no, I think this will be an exciting game that will have goals. I, I, I see goals in this game. Um, my post-match analysis will obviously be coming after the game, so watch for that during the Sunday. Af um, Africa, look, man, it's South Africa, baby. You know, it's 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 how we roll. Peace out, stay true, and please stay.